Today we're going to talk about the centering process for the 52120 and the 62120 grinders. For demonstration purposes, we have mounted our grinder on this block of wood. In your specific application, it could be either mounted to a workbench, mounted on a wall, or mounted on the accessory stand. <clears throat> there are slight differences between the 62120 grinder and the 52120 grinder. On the 52120 grinder, the vise assembly is held in place with two Allen head bolts underneath the base. On the 62120 grinder, the vise assembly is held in place by the knob. The first thing you're going to want to do when you go to your, your, your centering procedures is remove the cover over the bolt for the output shaft on the motor, place a straight edge in the vise assembly, just far enough away so that it does not get in, in the way of the head when you articulate it down. Then you're going to want to pull the head down. Check the alignment of the center bolt on the output shaft of the motor to see that it's 90 degrees from the base. If you need to make adjustments, it's simply made by twisting or turning the knob for the depth of grind until you get that 90 degree angle on the, on the base to the motor shaft. Once you achieve that, next thing you're going to need to do is use the four millimeter wrench that's supplied with the grinder when you take it out of the box. You loosen the two Allen bolts on the bottom of the assembly. And you slide the assembly forward or back until it lines up with the output shaft on the grinder motor. When it's lined up, Tighten those two bolts back down, and you're ready to go to work. For setup and usage instructions, please go to OregonProducts.com.